Hey, welcome to the crack of dawn. We are late. Uh, my friend Joe dropped the dome off yesterday, as you can see. He's a hero. He really came through for me. Uh, today, I'm hoping to at least get the wall done. Right, we're going to build a four foot tall wall to put the dome on because that'll be tall enough to actually have a door that a human can use with some difficulty. I'll, I'll probably have to rebuild it when I'm 60 and don't want to crawl through that tiny door anymore. Um, I'm going to be torn between trying to get the work done and trying to shoot enough video to show you all how I did it. So, you know, you'll have to forgive me if I skip things. Should be a good time. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoy watching me build the observatory. I made a little arm coming off the uh, pier with a pencil on it and drew the arc that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and take the router now and cut all these uh, sections of plywood out so we can start to assemble the ring. And uh, yeah, I used that arm to draw the circle of where the, do the whole dome is going to go. So uh, that'll help with lining up the pieces of plywood to build this ring. <laughs> Alright, uh, my brother Paul came over and helped me. I don't know if he wants to be in frame. It's a pretty wide angle. You might be in there. But uh, yeah, Paul came over and helped me. We got all the uh, pieces cut out for the ring. It looks like it's going to work. Now I'm, we're going to go and uh, just put a little bead of liquid nails between the, the two layers and screw it all together. It should be strong enough for the top plate. So we'll go ahead and get that screwed together. Not really much to show you. But uh, what I'm going to do now is mark the uh, the wall studs um having the dome level is of vital vital importance it's got to be level and uh the deck is not perfectly level <laughs> i'm not a master builder um so what i've what i'm going to do is i've got the laser set up at the uh at the proper height i mean you won't be able to see it from there maybe you can i don't know if the camera will pick it up but but, I, but this is the height that the studs need to be so I'm just going to hold the stud, mark it where the laser is, and I've got them all numbered. I've got it where the studs go, all marked out and numbered already. And I'll just get them all marked so that we'll be able to put the studs right where they're going to go, and this ring will sit perfectly level on top of them, ideally. Level enough, hopefully, with the, with the help of the laser level here. <music> Wow, that was more work than I was expecting. Uh, we'll call that the end of phase two. All the major construction is done. 
Wow, we've got good acoustics in here. <laughs> um, yeah, but all the, all the major construction is done. But we still have a long row to hoe. I, I, just, I started installing the motors. Um, we've got a lot of uh, just little Mickey Mouse things to do. I, I need to build the, the computer that's going to control the thing. Um, I'm going to build a, I think it's like Levzy, Le, Levzy Dome Net controller it's an open source system for observatory control it looks it looks really promising and um inexpensive uh but yeah i'm going to build that uh i still have some weather sealing to do i gotta install a bunch of sensors encoders uh i need to build a door still um what else is there uh just a little odds and ends i might i think i'm going to put some like rubber flooring down in here because my kids were getting splinters on the decking but yeah, really excited to have it to this point. The, the shutter is more or less working. I still need to do some tweaking before I can motorize it. It, you know, it's, it's old, it's very old. And it's obviously suffered some hard treatment. And if I try to motorize it now, it's just gonna tear itself apart because you gotta wiggle it to get it to slide. So I need to do some tweaking and get that. To, I've got it 95%, but that 5% is gonna destroy it. So I need to get it 100% before I can motorize it. Uh, so that's the next big mechanical challenge, is getting the shutter working smoothly. Um, the dome rotates really well. It's rotating really well on two motors, and I've got a third motor to put on it. So I've got no reservations about how smoothly it's going to rotate. We, we tried really hard to get it level and round. It is very nice and round and level. Um, so if it, if it wouldn't have rotated on this kind of platform, I think, you know, it's, it's just not going to work. Tonight we're going to have clear skies. I'm very excited. And, you know, what are, what are the chances? Get the dome up and have a clear skies on that very night. Uh, so first light is going to be tonight. I'm going to have to jog the motors by hand with a car battery. So that's going to be kind of annoying. But it's better than nothing. It's going to keep me out of the wind. So I look forward to showing you the first image. And uh, the elephant trunk should be high enough up in the morning that I can get some uh, narrowband data and test out those Max FR filters. And uh, do an actual SHO image. I'm excited to do that. So yeah, first light tonight. I am very excited. Clear skies. Thanks for watching, everybody. I will update you as soon as I've got the image. Back in the house, I uh, shot one hour on each filter. Hydrogen, alpha, sulfur, uh, two, and oxygen, three. Um, just one hour on each filter. It was kind of rushed. Um, had a lot of tweaking to do. I had a light leak. My tilt plate was... Okay, this is an example of me not taking my own advice. My tilt plate was leaking light really badly. Um, finally wrapped some tape around it and finally sorted out all my issues. My flats and my lights were having really bad problems. But, okay, got my light leaks, light leaks fixed. I got an hour. This is the hydrogen alpha. Looks nice. And, uh, yeah, this is fully calibrated with darks, lights, and, or dark, of course, it's got lights. Slightly out of focus. I, I did fall out of focus and did not have it set to automatically refocus, but still split these guys. That's even though it's slightly out of focus, it came out all right. Um, there's my sulfur. Looks good. A little bit noisy. The sulfur is noisier than the hydrogen, I think. Let me see. Yeah. wonder why um yeah no i you well probably because yeah i use different i use the same flats flat darks and darks on everything that's probably why it gouged that signal a little bit because of the flats and yeah there is the oxygen um but yeah that's only an hour on each filter so not much then uh, there is what they look like combined. That's my first SHO. I think that they came out really nice. I left a hint of green in there. I like a little bit of green. But uh, yeah, with that with that hyperstar dialed in, I've got a little bit of artifact in the corners. But this is this is a completely full frame. APS-C size image on the Hyperstar. Stars are a little bit bad in the top left corner here. But more or less over the whole frame they are 
really really good and it, it, it's a detailed image like zooming in this far you can still see quite a bit of detail these this star these stars are still split almost you can tell it's two stars but yeah you can yeah okay my my process my processing is very crowbar ish and I'm not very good at post processing I get it good enough for social media but yeah you can see around my stars it looks pretty bad and that's just that's lazy bad processing rushed processing I wanted to get this video done but uh like the color looks really great I think not unhappy with this at all and yeah the hyperstar is picking up some really nice details so Great first light for the dome, I think. Jogging it wasn't too bad because of where this target was last night. It was almost going straight up. So it stayed in the slot for a long time before I had to before I had to move it. Uh, so I was able to shoot an hour on all three of those filters without moving the, the dome once. So that was that was nice. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and for all my support. My friends and family have been great, really great, helping me out, encouraging me, you know, uh, a lot of a lot of support from the community. My buddies Joe and Dale all were always always had plenty of plenty of encouragement, and uh, Joe really hooked me up with that uh, with that dome. It was a bit of a basket case. Oh, talk about your fixer up. But uh, overall, it was you know a really really great deal he got me. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to getting more images out for you. And uh, let's take a close up.